The year is 1940. The Battle of Britain is underway. The towns and countryside of southern England are under constant attack by the German Luftwaffe. Your view is from the cockpit of a Messerschmitt 109 fighter, flying number two wingman in a free hunt raid to seek out and destroy enemy targets and aircraft. The 109s fly low and fast towards the English coast. Their pilots tense and alert for any sign of danger. Five Gs, climbing 2,500 feet in 10 seconds. Stick back, roll left. Dive to gain speed and close on the Spitfires. Object, to get into optimum firing distance of 100 yards. Early fire is deliberately out of range hoping Spitfires will turn, allowing a faster close. No effect. The Spitfires read. 109's bounce in the prop wash. A scissors maneuver by the Spitfires to put the 109's out of synchronization. The 109's cannot be thrown off. Another tactic is necessary. The Spitfires must get away. Stick back. Five Gs again to tight wing over. Try to split the 109s. The 109s stay together. Leader now in firing range and close. A fuel line is hit. The Spitfire is doomed. The 109 leader breaks. The inexperienced wingman follows down until he overtakes the falling British aircraft. Break and run for home. 109s have fueled only for five minutes combat over England. The pilots talk about the success of their raid. The leader is hit, badly. Success turns to destruction. The wingman has failed to protect. The lead 109 falls, burning. The wingman has no choice but to run for home, flying under maximum power, dropping down to wave top height. The Battle of Britain was fought from July to October 1940. It was the first defeat of Hitler's Luftwaffe and prevented the invasion of England. The price paid was high, but for the first time, the war was to turn in favor of Britain and her allies.